Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they just spectacular? Oh my goodness. That is the world's greatest sandwich. Do you agree? Do you agree? And uh, we're not doing anything, Mr. Deer. So I'm back here doing my bug treatment. <laughs> and somebody's just standing right there staring at me. How you doing today? But here's what I want you to see. I guarantee you, let's see, yep. Let's see if you can see it. See that? See the little mosquito larva swimming around? So these little traps work. Look at that. Okay, so... I have done my what I call a detection treatment which is a light treatment and I'm walking around and I'm finding a couple of grubs morning guys today's video bugs grubs bees mosquitoes <laughs> I'm gonna run through this I'm gonna try and do it as fast as possible because uh, I've got so much going on here on the lawn and in the yard I honestly could have made 40 videos in the past few days <laughs> I just don't have the time to grab the camera and shoot them all let me give you an example. Um, I so want vi upcoming videos. Um, I've got some Arden 15 grass, uh, Bermuda grass seed. The, that fairway project, which just went to complete dirt, we're going to be doing a seeding on that. I've got an electric scarifier, the same one I'm using at the beach house. I've got one of those coming in here. We're going to be reseeding the green. I'll probably reseed with Bermuda. And then in the fall, I'll go back to a bent. It's just temperature back there. Anyways, long story. Let's talk about bugs. Uh, number one, everything that I'm talking about in this video, I will try and find links. In the description below, there's one link. That takes you over to our website, and I'll put all these products on a page. This video will be on the page. And if I need more information, it'll be on that page. So you don't have to keep asking, what about this and what about that? A lot of times if I forget to say something in the video, I'll go back to that page and add it. Also hit that subscribe button, wherever that thing is, and get the Bermuda Lawn Guide. The Bermuda Lawn Guide walks you through your army worm season, your grub season. It walks you through all this step by step. But <laughs> I got bugs everywhere. All right, I got a hornet's nest up here. Uh, I think it's a bald face hornet, they call it, a black bald face hornet. Uh, it's not really a beneficial bee, by the way, in case you're wondering. They're not really pollinators. They're accidental pollinators. They actually hunt other insects. They go around hunting other insects and they bring those insects back to the nest. So I'm really not concerned. I am concerned because that hornet's nest is out here where the girls are. And Barb, right on the other side of that, she and her granddaughter sit on a bench right next to this thing so i'm like dude i gotta i gotta kill him all right so um i'll put that video up in a second when you hit july july august and september you really have to watch out for grub damage you have to watch out for um army worms sod worms and i'm going to show you a little trick so what's my trick to detect these the easiest way I like to do is maybe once once every six weeks or so, or once every four weeks during this hot time, not all during the year, but when I start to hit July 1st, maybe July 1st, maybe six weeks later in August, I will go around and I'll do a light coat of the Double Kill product. Now, the Double Kill product is a granular form and it's a DG particle. So when you put it out, you water it, the particles disperse. This is what they classify as an over-under product. So if you have bugs, if you have ants and bugs and ticks and fleas, whatever you have above the ground, it'll kill all those. As it starts to rain, it'll work down and start to kill grubs. It is a very effective grub killer. But I use it more so for detection this time of year. I put it out at about half the recommended rate right now. I did a very light coat. Um, I have like 16, 17,000 square feet, and I put only two bags on 17,000 square feet. So that's a light coat. 
I water, ran my irrigation system and I watered it in, watered it in, watered it in, did a good irrigation. The next thing I did is I came by with a very light coat of triazicide. Now triazicide, you can run down to Walmart and maybe I'll find a link for it. You get it at Lowe's, hook this onto your hose and run around and spray your whole lawn. What you will find is when you come out a few hours later or the next morning, it's really good to do this at sunset. You will start to see problems. I can't tell you how many times I've come out and I'll see just hundreds of army worms going, Argh. and I'm like, dude, okay, I need to really focus on an army worm treatment. Right now, when we were doing the scalp cutting, I saw beetles, I saw black beetles. Now those black beetles, it's a chafer beetle, those are what turn into typically the white grubs. The next thing you can do, if you have an area where you've had a lot of grub problems in the past, or if you just want to prevent it, there is a natural organic way to do this through a certain bacteria, um, Bacillus thuringi Bacillus thuringentis. Bacillus thuringentis. <laughs> Bacillus thuringentis. I wanted, I wanted to make sure I got that right. But that's what this is. It's a special, a certain bacteria that produces, it produces a protein that when the immature grubs eat this, it becomes a toxin in their system. That's how this works. It does not work on full adult size or larger grubs. You got that? This has to be put down, and I'll link to this. This is actually a lawn box product, and it's certified organic. You can put it out. And then the dogs and the kids can go right, water it in, the dogs and kids. Um, it is OMRI listed as an organic product. But again, it's only on the immature grubs and immature, anything that's young, it will not kill existing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably use that on Barb's lawn. Today, I'll put some of that out on Barb's lawn. Um, I don't necessarily put it on mine. Yesterday, I came out here, like I said, I put a light coat of duicide. And then I did a spray and I didn't really see any major problems. I walked my entire lawn and I think I found maybe about five grubs and a few beetles. When I went to Barb's last year and I did that treatment, every morning I would pick up close to a hundred black chafer beetles. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'll just put this stuff together. Like I said, I'm just trying to do my best to put some videos together. Let me go ahead and show you the hornet's nest. And then we'll, I'll show you walking around picking up some bugs and grubs. So I uh, had to go to Lowe's this morning to pick up some more of these metal grates for the zinnias. And I picked up. <laughs> and I, oh, they're already flying around. How do I do this without getting my butt stung off in between barbs and my lawn? And I need to shoot this right into that hole and not get my butt stung off. There we go. Doc's afraid of a few little bees. <laughs> All right, so I shot them early morning. They were actually really active this morning. And uh, I'll look at the video, but basically I'll just, I'll give it about another hour and I'm gonna keep these. These cans, they were kind of cold, so the pressure was a little bit low. So I'm gonna leave the cans in the sunshine, get a little more pressure and I'll come back in an hour and hit it again again. And you can see how this time I've really got it in that hole and see how it sort of foams up. That's perfect. So now any of the bees coming out of there are going to get hit. Perfect. Howdy. So I hadn't planned on this being a uh, bug video today, but <laughs> so first of all, let me show you the results. So this morning I came out here. I'm finding these. Now these are these black beetles. 
And these black beetles actually produce, these are what produce those white grubs. So I walked and I found a black beetle. And then I saw a Japanese beetle. Where's the Japanese? Here's, looks like more, more of a Japanese beetle. And then, where is it? I saw this. Oh, look at that, grub. So I saw a little grub. I don't see a huge amount of issues. In other words, as of yet, I don't see like a bunch of sod worms. I don't see a bunch of army worms. But I just came out here, so there's no telling. So I'm kind of walking around here. <clears throat> now, a lot of people are asking, down in this lower area, I have a lot of um, little mushrooms. That's my drainage area. They, when they built this lawn, it's sort of a drainage area. It stays really moist. I'm okay. Moisture, mushrooms are good. They're fine. They get a little annoying, but... So, what's this? There's a little grub. So, if people tell you that the end of June is not a time to treat for grubs, they'd be wrong because... Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Okay, so let's talk about this treatment process. Number one, if I want to go out, what I like to do on my lawn is I go out and do a light coat of the double kill, which is a granular, and then I come behind it and I spray the, the triazoside. I've already done that. I don't see any significant problem in my lawns. However, Barb's lawn every year has had a significant grub problem. So we're gonna do a double treatment. What's the double treatment? We're gonna, the double treatment is we're going to do an active killing agent, which is the double kill, which will kill those chafer beetles and mature grubs. And then we're gonna put down this, um, we're gonna put down the preventative as well too. So I'm just gonna use one bag of the double kill. We'll put that on and then we'll put three bags of the grub out. And hopefully that should do some significant reduction. Again, mature versus immature. So I know I have some out there that are mature. I need to kill them. This will prevent this falls smaller grubs and larva from growing up. Okay, so this is, so you can see it, this is the grub out product. Again, this is completely safe. Um, pet safe, kid safe, put it out, water it, and they can come right out. All right, so he's over here applying the preventative. We're gonna do the killer. And yesterday when I was cutting this, I was like, dude, she, her lawn is infested with these leaf hoppers, leaf suckers, leaf hoppers. And they're these tiny little white bugs. And if you get one to look under a microscope, they kind of look like a cricket. <laughs> but there's millions of them. They, they don't really necessarily hurt your lawn too bad. But they're, man, they're just annoying. So I'm gonna go get a bottle of triazoside and spray. But watch, let me see if I can get them. See if I can show you what I mean. As I walk along. Okay, so here, look. <laughs> see them all? Look at this, isn't this crazy? Look at them. Holy cow. All right, so let me be real clear here. Grub out is a natural organic preventative that only works on immature, <laughs> on immature grubs and beetles, larva stage stuff. If you have a problem, you need the double kill. The double kill will work almost overnight. It's extremely effective on all these bugs. And the only reason I'm seeing grubs come up is because we apply the double kill product. That's what I use on my lawn. I do not use this preventative, but I figured I'd try it on Barb since she has such an infestation. And this is, now this is a DG product. So when water hits these particles, they break apart immediately. So as soon as you put it down, irrigate it or put it down right before rain. I'm actually gonna pull my phone out right now and I'm gonna go order 
on Amazon some more of this. I need probably three bags for hers and I probably need one, two, three, four. I need four bags for my lawn um, for next month's application. Okay, Ryan, so for this application, we'll start here. My, my big problem area on Barb's lawn seems to be in here and down the side and to the back. And I don't have enough of this product really to do a whole lawn treatment. So let's do the exact same thing. Let's go here, stop at that bush, go here. We'll treat this area, treat the side. And then once you get that side done, come back and do the rest of the front and then the back. We'll see how far we can go with it. I only got one bag. It'll be here probably tomorrow, the next day. Uh, we can finish it up. Okay, so let me tell you how I've dealt with my mosquitoes this year. And I gotta tell you, we haven't seen almost any mosquitoes. Let me show you real quick. It's kind of a granular product, see it? Now, what I've done is I've actually taken a few spare plastic tubs or buckets, uh, and I've filled them up about three quarters of the way with water, and then I put Oh, maybe uh, put like a half a gallon of those pellets inside of that bucket. And then I set them in dark areas. What does that mean? Where the mosquitoes like to lay their eggs. Mosquitoes like to lay their eggs in cool, dark areas and little pools of water. When I did these traps, I did them almost two months ago. Uh, I don't know the effect of, I don't know how long this stays effective, but it's surely not two months. And I guarantee you, if I go back to my mosquito traps now, sorry, and I guarantee you, when I go back to these mosquito traps now, there's gonna be mosquito larvae in these traps, but it's a great example to show you. All right, so all these woods back here, that's where the mosquitoes want to breed. They want the shade and they want to find small pockets of water. Okay, so just we have just junk back here, but right here, there's one of my tubs. And then back over here, here's another bucket. But here's what I want you to see. I guarantee you, let's see, yep. Let's see if you can see it. See that? See the little mosquito larva swimming around? So these little traps work. Look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's what these mosquitoes look for. They want this shady, cool areas, and they want they want little pools of water. They love it. So I'll just get some of this. Kind of looks like barley or something. And uh, we're not doing anything, Mr. Deer. So I'm back here doing my bug treatment. <laughs> and somebody's just standing right there staring at me. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Are you doing okay? Everything good with you? Everything good? That's good. Hope you enjoy that stuff over there. That's good. So that deer is probably right about there. Uh, let me see if I can find, let me see if I can find, all right, here it is. This is what I'm talking about. See this little hole right here? Last year that was full of water and there is some water in there now and it was full of mosquito larvae. So it's the uh, end of the day, and let me just summarize. First, let's look at the beehive. And the beehive is completely inactive at this point. No bees. So the, the lawn is healing up from the hard cut that we did, but let's talk about when you need to think about this stuff. Now, I'm basing this on Georgia, and in Georgia, it's July 1st today. We were in the 90s. It's hot. It's humid. This is about the time that you need to start thinking about grubs. As you can tell, I'm finding a lot of beetles and I'm finding a lot of grubs. So, not a bad time to do a double kill treatment and come out and see what you got. It's, it's pretty effective. 
Uh, this is the time, month of July, typically, is when you put down a preventative because this is when you're going to have some of that larvae start to produce as well, too. So you can do both. You can do one or the other. You can do both. Barb's lawn, I'm doing both. On my lawn, I'm just doing the kill because I really don't have many issues. Later in July is when you're going to start to see armyworm problems. July, August, and September is when we see armyworms. <laughs> and I've done several videos on that, and I'll probably have some armyworms. Almost everyone has them. Uh, the moths come into your lawn, they lay the eggs, and then you have an armyworm. It's nothing major. You can use a spray, you can use the double kill, you can use whatever you want. But you do need to check every so often. It's not a bad idea to take something like a bottle of triazicide or something like that and just do a general treatment. Kills teeth, fleas, ticks, especially if you got dogs. Um, ticks are a big thing that I worry about for myself and my family. Mm -hmm. Mosquitoes. Now is the time that you should be treating for mosquitoes. This hot, humid weather, they absolutely love this stuff. Again, um, last the past couple years I was spraying back in the woods, and now what I've done is I've gone to these sort of traps where I intentionally put out a few buckets in areas, and then I put that killer into it. I'll actually put a link to that killer down below, and that seems to be pretty effective. I have yet to be bitten by a mosquito in my yard this year with all these woods and all these mosquitoes around. So far, so far knock on wood, that's working. Um, I'm pretty careful where I spray my stuff. I have so many beneficial flowers around. Um, all the gardens, all the natural stuff we're doing in the vegetable gardens this year. So I'm pretty careful about how I apply it and I don't want to be killing um, you know, the beneficial bees that come into the yard. So we've got coming up, I've got coming up, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna reseed the fairway. The fairway is completely dead. A little bit of Bermuda. We're going to reseed that with the Arden 15. The green, what I'm going to do is I'm going to seed that with a Bermuda. And then as the weather cools, we'll switch it over and we'll do an overseed probably of um, probably a creeping bent. The garden's looking wonderful, by the way. The good witch came over the other day. I did shoot a video. I just haven't had time to publish it. We've started to clean this up, but we're leaving a lot of these wildflowers in here. She said something. Uh, Jess said something really important. She said, by this time last year, we had lost almost all of our tomato plants. And this year, we have almost no fungus this year. None. One of the reasons is, is I think that we're allowing this natural habitat to come back. We're using a lot more dirt booster with the, with the good fungus that's protecting it. Um, but we're just sort of just letting nature take its course. And it's done really, really well. Matter of fact, I'll show you. I'll, I'll probably make a sandwich here for you in a minute. The dirt booster, we're not using any fertilizers on the garden. We're just making compost piles. Um, we already used half this pile the other day. But this right here, this is the mycorrhizal fungi. You see that? That is mycorrhizal fungi. Now that fungi, this pile was covered this morning in it. Let me see how, ooh, it's hot. Look at that, see how that's steaming? Wow, it's hot to the touch. It's gotta be 140, almost 150 degrees. It's 80 something degrees out here right now and that pile is steaming like that. Wow, that's crazy. That is super hot. And I say this all the time, I just did a video about organic matter and why we put this on our lawn and why we want that good mycorrhizal fungi around the roots in our lawn and in our gardens. Mycorrhizal fungi surrounds your plant roots, protects it, brings in water, brings in nutrients, and double the size of your plant roots. It's so important. We've done so well with it this year. And that's really helped out all of our crops in here. And then we're doing, what we're doing this year is we're intermingling all these wildflowers all amongst our tomatoes. Look at them, all these flowers in here. Beneficial birds, beneficial insects, a, a multi-culture environment. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they just spectacular? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they are just beautiful. <laughs> Light bread pieces of bacon. It's too crazy. 
Look at these tomatoes. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Gorgeous. Cucumbers. Two, four. Two more pieces of bacon. Someone in the last video asked me, asked me about the zinnias and how we keep the zinnias from constantly falling over. Uh, let me show you. You can go to Lowe's. These things are about 10 bucks a piece. They're not cheap. But see these little metal grates? See that little metal grate here? And what I do is, is I go under my zinnia plants and then I lift up and I put that grate in. I go under lift it up and put it and it just holds all these zinnias back this zinnia <laughs> that zinnia is actually grown in the grass <laughs> ryan was about to pull it i said no leave it so anytime you have like big plants like this and you have the they're starting to these are all starting to fall over just get some of these grates and just hold them up just hold them but up but the amount of birds we have coming through our yard eating all these insects um, rabbits <laughs> we have had for the first time ever we have had rabbits in our yard um, a ton of beneficial birds a ton of insects ton of beneficial insects so anyways uh hope that helped for you guys like i said i got a bunch of videos coming i'll pump them out as quick as i can talk to you later doc mm -hmm.